Got to make those shepherd pies. Of course, shepherd pie is not necessarily that. You got to make them pot pies. Got to make them rhubarb pies. Yeah. Now, I have not really made a pot pie as of yet. In part because no one else has asked for it externally. And because my girlfriend just generally does not like anything too close to gravy. <laughs> What? No gravy. Yeah. yeah, it's a texture thing for her. She has like a lot of specific texture associations. Hey, that that texture association is not gravy, okay? I'm just saying. Hey. Uh, but yeah, I get it. Uh, I there's a lot of t when I was younger mainly, textures mm -hmm. were a thing for me. Yeah, she has like a a weirdly strong memory for these sorts of things and her brain just like forces associations on her faster than it does for me so like there are more things like where words just sound gross or like a feeling in her mouth will make her think of the taste of vomit she's probably mm -hmm. reminded of the texture of vomit by the yeah. feel of something she, else she'll feel the texture and then that'll bring forth the flavor hmm and like some of the physical other experience. So like it's like even if something might be kind of close-ish, like it's not gonna bring up the flavor to my brain. Yeah. I think that's it's uh for me when I got older and was dealing with it, um you just had to I just had to make myself make new associations because if you know your brain's doing that uh, especially as an adult as you learn how brains work if you if you know that your brain oh basically if you, if you know that this is something your brain does it's possible to weaponize it for a better result yeah you can you can start to control your brain's uh abilities This content was made possible by travelers and viewers like you. Thank you.